The next topic I'd like to talk to you about is an onlay versus a crown. Typically we do these restorations when a tooth has been broken down so badly that it cannot accept a filling anymore. For example, if more than 60% of the tooth is lost, we are in a situation where any filling is going to be unlikely to stay. In addition, sometimes teeth have cracks or they have root canal treatments done which makes them more brittle. This requires some form of a protection to ensure that the tooth doesn't split. Protection traditionally has always come in the form of a crown. When a crown is made, the tooth is trimmed down into a cone and a crown is fabricated in a lab made of gold or porcelain or some kind of a fusion of the two and the crown is cemented over the tooth. Nowadays, because of advances in dental materials, we are able to bond to the tooth instead of having to require a mechanical lock. This means that we don't have to remove as much tooth structure. We can be more conservative, preserving the amount of enamel and dentine that you have and avoiding heavy restorations where we grind away a lot of tooth. Onlays are a great way to achieve this. Onlays can be made of ceramics. These mimic the color and shape of your tooth so that we avoid unesthetic metal restorations. The greatest advantage of doing an onlay versus a crown is that we get to preserve as much of your tooth as we can while still providing it the protection that it needs.